Hello students welcome back to my channel today we are going to discuss reflective essay we had started with the analysis of the isc language paper and we were discussing different types of essays we have already discussed descriptive narrative and argumentative essay today we are going to look at the reflective essay now before we start uh getting into the details of the reflective essay first you need to understand what does one mean by reflective essay and what does the council expect you to write as the name suggests reflective essay is more about reflecting on a particular idea or a thought and in your essay obviously even if you are reflecting and analyzing your own thought you need to present it in a lucid and proper manner so we need to know certain tricks that we need to employ in order to write a proper reflective essay now first how will you identify a reflective topic on your question paper now the first thing that you need to keep in mind is if you look at the isc 2023 specimen paper or if you look at any question paper of the previous years you will see that reflective essay topics are always one word topics so that one word is given and you need to reflect and talk about different ideas that come to your mind when you note that one word when you hear that one word and you need to present your essay based on the ideas that come to your mind when you look at that particular word now if we uh, refer to the isc 2023 specimen paper uh you will see that the reflective topic given on the question paper is hope now how do you need to write the uh, how will you write the essay first you will you can start the introduction by uh defining the word hope in a certain way not a very technical uh a uh, not very uh, not a very technical description that you need to give you you need to uh, lucidly explain it in your own words what you understand by the word hope now in these essays the council expects you to divide the idea into two parts when you hear the word hope you must think of two separate ideas and you need to give examples your one idea needs to be concrete that is by concrete idea i mean uh, you can start the essay by briefly defining uh, the term hope then you give maybe a specific incident maybe you talk about a specific incident related to hope or where you found hope uh, Uh, in your life or you can give an anecdote about someone else's life that could be your concrete example where you are giving a specific incident where you see that where you talk about someone's hope or where you talk about your own hope uh maybe an incident where you were completely hopeless but you found hope so very specific very concrete you can talk about that that could be the first part of your essay the next part will have to have the the abstract idea of hope what do i mean by the abstract idea of hope as in hope in general the concept of hope in general how we hope to have a better life how we aspire to uh, to have uh, certain things in our lives how we hope for world peace perhaps how we hope for the hunger around us uh, to end how we hope for the poverty around us to come to an end so a general a broad perspective of hope and what you associate with hope will come under the abstract idea
your concrete idea i repeat for you all again will be about a specific incident maybe from your life maybe uh, from someone else's life you know or it could be an incident that you may have read about so it is very concrete it is a specific incident the next part of the essay will focus on the abstract idea of hope that encompasses a lot of topics a lot of themes a lot of ideas hope regarding one's better future hope regarding world peace hope regarding hope as a general uh, general force in our lives to move forward we all function because we have some hope to achieve something we have some hope to do better in life we hope for good things for others we hope for uh, the betterment of the country so the con uh, the abstract idea is again a very uh, a broadened perspective of the word hope so you need to keep this structure in mind when you are composing a reflective essay that is all you need to know uh, when you are structuring a reflective essay these two ideas or these two things you need to remember first when you are planning the essay itself you need to divide uh, the the word or the topic into two parts one concrete idea and one abstract idea and then you start elaborating those ideas uh, those ideas uh, in the essay do not mix the two together make sure that the concrete idea and the abstract idea come out clearly in your essay do not just define the word hope and all through the essay do not continuously define the word in different ways but come up with various ideas the concrete and the abstract ideas must be there in your essay that is what the council expects if you write it in uh, in the form of a short story it will be completely incorrect so please be careful that you are not writing a short story but you are analyzing and reflecting on your own ideas i hope this is clear if you have any further question regarding reflective essay please do let me know in the comment section if you like my work please like share and subscribe to my channel i will again meet you in the next video